Okay, now we're going to work on the arm muscles. We'll start with the deltoid. Notice it's shaped like a delta. That's the Greek letter for triangle. Looks like a triangle. The muscle fibers are running in a up and down motion on the arm, so it sits kind of like this. So if these fibers contract or shrink or, or move closer together, they're going to pull the arm up like that. So the action of the deltoid is to elevate the arm. Um, on this one, we want you to know the origins and insertions. The origins are the uh, clavicle in the front and the scapula in the back, and then the insertion is down here into the distal, or actually it's more the middle uh, humerus bone. So just know that those are the origins, the clavicle and the scapula, and the insertion is going to be in the humerus. Then you have the biceps brachii. So if I'm doing my arm like this, this muscle right here that you always think about when you're lifting weights doing curls, that's the biceps brachii. Remember the name, biceps tells you that it has two heads. So I'm going to take the deltoid off here. You can see the two heads there. So that is your um, origin, and then your insertion is down here, but you don't need to know that on the biceps brachii. But what you need to do is just look at the uh, grain of the fibers, and they're running like this. So when these fibers shorten, that's going to pull your hand or, or flex your elbow. Now, there's a lot of muscles that flex your elbow, so you have to figure out which uh, position your hand is in. So the biceps brachii is going to be your prime mover when your hand is in the supinated position. So when your palm is up like this and you do like that, that's going to be the biceps brachii right here that's your prime mover. If your hand is in the pronated position, it's the one underneath it, the brachialis, and we can take that biceps brachii off and that leaves you the brachialis, but the brachialis will be your prime mover if your hand is in the supinated position. So that would make you do more of like a salute motion. So the biceps brachii, this one on top, is going to make you do like a curling motion like this with your hand supine and then the brachialis underneath it is going to make you do uh, your hand will be pronated and so you're going to have more of a salute motion but that both of those are going to be flexing the elbow that's their job all right then on the back side of the arm you have the triceps brachii triceps tells you three heads so there's actually one two three pieces here so those are all going to be your triceps um, we'll just call that the triceps brachii, and it's going to have the antagonistic uh, op, uh, movement to the brachialis or biceps brachii. So the biceps brachii, this one right here, is going to flex your elbow. The triceps is going to extend your elbow. So the front and back are usually antagonistic because they're wrapped around that same joint. So one's got to flex it and one's got to extend it. So the biceps brachii and the brachialis are both going to flex the elbow joint. The triceps brachii, these three in the back, that's going to uh, extend the elbow. Then you have the um, brachioradialis. The name tells you it's from the brachial region to the radial region. So it turns out that the origin is in the uh, distal uh, humerus right here. And then the insertion, the part that moves, is going to come down here to your uh, styloid process of your radius bone. So it's brachioradialis. Notice it comes across and makes that kind of crossing motion. That's going to be important in flexing your elbow as well. So that's Could one you of the... you that one more time? Just run your finger down one more time. It goes from the brachial region up here and goes down like that, down to the styloid process of the radius bone. Remember, R makes the radius. So... Um, that's the brachioradialis right there, that whole big, it looks like a group of muscles actually. Okay, the, um, all right, sorry about that interruption. Um, we were on the brachioradialis, it starts in this brachial region and goes down to the styloid process of the radius bone. One of the two things that it does is it helps in flexing the elbow, so imagine when those fibers shorten up, that's going to pull the elbow up, so that flexes the elbow, and it also is going to help sup supinate the palm. So. Think about that, it's going like that and those fibers shorten, so that's going to kind of turn the palm over so it, it supinates the palm. Then you have the pronator teres, that's a real easy one to remember, it's this little short one right in the crook of your elbow, so right there. Um, one more time, hang on, Maybe see me. Okay. okay, right here in the crook of your elbow. Um, is that a word, crook of your elbow, who knows? Anyway, right there where your elbow bends, you've got this little short muscle called the pronator teres. Um, it's antagonistic to the brachioradialis. We said the brachioradialis is going to supinate your palm. Well, the pronator teres is going to pronate your palm. There's the name, pronator turning over, 
and then Terry's to the earth, or Terry's is earth, like Firmatera or whatever. So that turns your hand over like that. So that's this little short one right here. Then you have a group of what are called your flexor carpi muscles. So the name tells you where they are and it also tells you what they do. Um, it's this group of muscles going right down here to the wrist and they're going to flex the wrist or bend the wrist. So you can actually do it on yourself if you fit, uh, get mixed up and go, are these the flexor carpi or are they the extensor carpi? Just put your hand right there on them, flex your uh, wrist and you'll see these are the flexors. And if you turn your hand over, put your hand on the uh, dorsal side of your arm down here, you'll see the extensor carpies, and they go right down to the wrist as well. And your book lists a lot about the uh, extensor digitorum and all that. Don't worry about that. Just know this little group right here are the extensor did, or excuse me, extensor carpies, and then, then right here, these are going to be your flexor carpi muscles right there. So one extends, one flexes. Real simple. All right. And that's it for the arm.